Deus.
Borg har gjort med nøden. Kids, you sit back down. First of all, I want to thank everybody for praying for my wife. I want to pray, for, uh, you know, without prayer, we're hopeless. I mean, prayer can change anything and everything. And I'm, I firmly believe in that. Uh, I've got something I want to say. I, I think God put it on my heart for me to go. I mean, uh, this ain't from Terry, this ain't from Eddie, this ain't from Chuck. This is what God told me to tell you. And this is, I'm going to say it like this. The, people, the families that bring their kids to Sunday school, thank you. The people that's not bringing those kids to Sunday school, shame on you. Because the kids need to be in Sunday school to learn. Because when a lot of kids get saved in Sunday school. You know, and a lot of them, uh, they hear the word daddy, they hear the preacher word. They might get saved that day. So that, that's when, if you get mad, mad at me, then you get mad at God, because God told me to tell you this. So, there it is. <laughs> okay. We'll count enough bulletin. Like I said earlier, we all know Brother Josh and family here this morning, and Brother Josh and preach for this morning. Everybody pray for Brother Josh. Because, you know, no matter who's up here, me, well, I'm up here talking with my mouth or Brother Terry preaching or Josh preaching, who is preaching. They need your prayers while you're up here. So special, well, that must have been special on for a youth group. Business meeting been canceled. I remember that. Ebony's Bible camp been canceled too? They ain't been canceled yet. Has uh, Ebony's Bible camp been canceled too? No, it's on the same Saturday. We need all the help we can get down there. That's 9 to 11, right? Uh, 9 to 11. Nine to seven. Nine to seven next Saturday. October twentieth, which would be uh, next Sunday. Yeah. The church preaching we start to revive a prosperity Baptist. If you don't know what it is, see him. <laughs> I don't know what it is neither. Okay, uh, and October twentieth the the trip is being canceled because they got what about washed away. October twenty seventh be building fun. And October 27th, on the cookout, to the cookout, you said you, you're going to have a, like a community cookout, Terry? Uh, like a community, community town, uh, chili cook off. You've done good. Okay, they also, the, uh, the cook off, the chili town, the community town will be up at the uh, fellowship building. October 3rd, trick or treat, it'll be here, down here. October, uh, November 2nd, with men's breakfast. You can come join one day, Josh. <laughs> uh, November 10th, special offer for a youth group. November 10th, business meeting. November 24th, special offer for the building fund. December the 8th, uh, Mr. Wilcox will be here to speak not so. <clears throat> I've got my different glasses on. I've got my old ones. I forgot my new ones. Man. I've got my old ones on. I can't, I can't see too good. Ralph Meek, Reason Family, Andy Lowe, Ryan, Ross Prentice Dow, Willis Lewis, Kevin Bernard, Brendan Arnold, Michelle Cook, Kinsley Thomas, Ed Long, Doug Taylor, Helen Berger, Cindy Ashton Riley, Jake Main, June Campbell, Daniel Furches, Paul Greer, Tammy Taylor, Nelson Holmes, Jeff Jim Beebe, Earl Marion Gamble, Carol Tedder, Willie Gray Adams, Aaron Shirley Rice, Judy Dunn, the Beach Walters, Michaela Taylor, Betty Brown, McD Kinnett, Joe McCress, David Adams, Mark Roberts, Dyson Hazel Lewis, Victor and Adam Worley, Emily Church, Grayson Arney, Mary Arna, Scott Freeman, Mason and Mom, Denny Taylor, Delos Anderson, Dick Jenkins, Matthew Adams, Haley Adams, Ebenezer the Christian Home, Sandy Laws, David Salt, Emma Pope, Dorothy Keller, Jake Byers, Frank Main, Lucas Perdue, Clyde Owens, Will Williams, Wistie Wilson, Dick Hodge, Claire Hurd, 
Lisa Reese, uh, Wal <coughs> Wallace Lewis, Bobby Joe Flet Fetter, Frank and Betty Johnson, Dayton Buck, Fern Lowe, Gail McKinney, Brandon Greenwell, Brenda Glunsford, Glunsford, and the Alderman Clifton Lord Tressler, Cindy Thomas, Everett Ryan of Mary, Jane Lewis, Gwen Lewis, Richie, Mo Richard, Richard Moses, Gary Buchanan, Linda Lewis, Ron Bennett, Stacey Jennings, Don Payne, Aiden Sturgill, Danny Eller, Michael Caputo, Caputo. I know him all my life. He's my cousin. I still can't say his last name. <laughs> my Judy Campbell's sister, Dan McCannon, Chris Bolton, Eddie's family, uh, Patty Osmond, Lane Kirby, Aaron Steele, Randall Lewis, Louis Dunn, Andrew Ward, Buffy Connett, Clifton McCoy, Gwen. Stephanie Jane Humphrey, Nancy Button, John Yates, Dean Ham, Doug Blevins, Gene uh, Buchanan, Nathaniel Rice, Ronald uh, Porter, Karen Porter, Tammy Thomas, Ellen Cross's family. She passed away. That was Eddie's sister in law, Teacher Riley, Debbie Adams, Jane Kimball, Danielle, Justin Rankin, Neil Arnold, Jennifer Lay. Storm Vincent, and I also put Glenn Robinson family on there. Anybody else? Like I always say, when you're praying, if you don't have this with you, with you, like when you're praying for them, you got an idea who's on there. You know a few of them, but you pray God would take care of them. And all the hours in the community, they, uh, the God, the God, a uh, truly God uh, preaching church, Bible church, pray for them too. Uh, that's about all I got to say. <coughs> I'm, about, I'm about done talking to you. We have any birthdays coming up, come up this week? Come up here. Audrey, I'll come back and get you. <laughs> Mom, I'll come with you. <laughs> Say happy birthday to her. Have an anniversary. We'll step out and have a morning fellowship. Amen. Like I said, it's good to be in the Lord's house this morning. Like I said, we appreciate each and every one that's come out to be with us today. We just ask you to mind the Spirit of the Lord. Whatever God bids you to do, that's what we want you to do today. As long as it's in His will and in His way, I promise you, it'll be all right. Amen. If He tells you to sing, sing. If He tells you to shout, shout. 
would like to give a quick shout out to all those that have uh, been working out so uh, so much and doing all the things and clean up and all different things that uh, here at the church. We've got several that's on vacation today. Uh, Brother John and his family, many other, several other families are gone uh, out on vacation today. You pray for them and God to give them safe travels. Continue to remember all those that are doing without. Uh, if you know somebody, if you have, if you or yourself, so your family members, or you know someone else, co-workers or neighbors or others that are having a hard time, uh, have some uh, things going on, whether it be from the storm or just other things, please feel free to let us know. We do have a stockpile of some water and different things out in the storage building. We uh, we know that the county got flooded. Uh, a few weeks ago, but we also know we were inundated with bottled water and different things coming into our county, and uh, we'd, we'd delivered so much, they was having a hard time pl placing stuff. I told, uh, I told our folks, I said, we'll put some out here in the building. In a few weeks, I promise you, all of it's going to stop. All of it's going to slow down from coming in, and then we'll have some to be able to distribute as well. But there are things out there if you need it or if you have a need, please let us know. We'll make sure to get, get your needs taken care of. Uh, the Lord said he'd take care of our needs, and I promise you, there's a lot of things I'm sure that all of us want, but my needs have always been met with God. Amen. Uh, we appreciate you today. Maybe somebody here this morning's got a song on your heart, something, a word or a testimony, something you'd like to do for the Lord this morning. Amen. Amen. He is good. Amen. That song we sung this morning, blessed, I'm blessed. Uh, I tell you what, I, I was coming up the road this morning, coming to church. That was the other, the other song we sing about how I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning till I lay my head at rest, I am blessed. Listen, God's good to us, amen? Uh, even when we don't deserve his goodness, his kindness, his grace, his love, he's still good to us, amen? Uh, he does not change. He gave us a thought this week, you know, God wants everyone to come to him, and he, but most people want to come to him on their terms, amen. I got to thinking about that rich young ruler. The Bible said he came to him. He was probably an influential guy in the, in the neighborhood. Everybody probably knew who he was. And when he turned around and ran away, Jesus didn't run after him. He didn't fall and say, oh, man, I'm going to change it just for you. He's the same today, yesterday, and forever. He's the same God. I'm glad that he stays constant when everything around us is trying to evolve. When everything else around us is trying to change or trying to liberalize, I'm glad he's constant. His love for us is always the same. Amen. We appreciate you this morning. We appreciate Brother Josh and his family. And I know uh, they're going to bless your heart this morning. Whatever the Lord puts on his heart or their heart, if they're going to sing. I've seen them bring some instruments in, so we're hoping they're going to sing a little bit too. So... But before we do that, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer and just ask his blessings on the service today. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today, Lord, just humble ourselves before thee once again. Thanking you for the opportunity to be in your house. Uh, thanking you for the opportunity to gather together to worship. Uh, but most of all, Lord, we thank you for sending your son to die for us and create that way of salvation. I pray now, dear Heavenly Father, if there's one here that does not know the free pardon of sin, uh, today something would be said or done to point them in that direction. Uh, and I pray, dear God, they'll just turn their life over to you and give it to you. I pray for Brother Josh and his family as they get ready to sing and to preach. And Lord, I pray that you'll bless him and give him that many songs souls for the labor, I, but God, I pray that you'll come in this place, whatever need is here today, I, I pray that you'll supply according to thy will, we give you all.
Amen. It sure is a blessing to be with you all uh, this this morning. Uh, thank the Lord for all his many, many blessings. And uh, I was talking to Sister Dee Dee, and uh, back in about 1994 or 95, this this church was behind McDonald's. I was in the I was in middle school. And there was a boy that went to this church, uh, the Widener Butts. And uh, I went with you bowling several times and other stuff. I, re I remember that. Um, a kid will remember a church that's good to him. Amen. I'm 42 year old now. Brian's got grandkids. I, uh, back there, proud of them. <clears throat> Worked with him. And then me and Stephanie, we got married. 20 some year ago, I don't know how long it's been anymore, but <clears throat> I, it ought to be after 20 years, you don't have to keep up with it no more, you know what I mean? It ought to be some exemption rule, I don't know. Uh, Rachel's got kids, we we got married and we was, uh, which is Brian's grandkid, but uh, we got married and uh, Rachel was in the youth group that me and Stephanie kindly worked with. I mean, time goes on. And we, and now we've turned around, um, brother, and here we are. Uh, through many dangerous toils and snares, I have already come. Amen. Amen. I'm closer home today than I was yesterday. Amen. Amen. And you are too. Um, I don't know what maybe... Uh, you're going through today, but it would be a good day to get some help from the Lord, wouldn't it? I'm telling you, there's some people that's hurting. Uh, there's people that's lost their houses, lost people's lost loved ones. People's probably nearly about to, if, if they ain't, they've lost their minds. Amen, from all the destruction. But here we are, sitting in air-conditioned padded pews. Uh, we, we're able and free, like you said this morning, brother, to praise this 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 man's name and his name is Jesus, the one that loved you so much. I I won't be too long, but listen to me for a few minutes. <coughs> you ought not go out the same way you come in. We can all move up, can't we? Hey Amen. I was helping the boys. We was cutting trees, and I don't know what I done, but I think I've broke a rib or something. And when I go to pushing hard, there's a shooting pain. In this area. <clears throat> and anyhow, uh, and then, uh, but God's good to us, ain't he? Yeah, it's good the body can get out, um, can get out and do, do stuff. I, uh, it's, it's a blessing. I thank God for it. But them youngins, wasn't them youngins doing a good job singing? Yeah. Every one of them. You see, and uh, they, some of them sing real loud and some of them not so loud. And, and boys, and, and every which one of them that gets up here in front of people is, they ought to be bragged on. Amen. Amen. What a blessing that is. Because it might be your next song leader. It might be, I mean, who knows? Amen. That's a blessing. But I, I hear them youngins are singing so hard. And, and I wanted to read the words to this song this morning. If you don't get, and I'm going to read a little bit in the Bible. I was trying to get Terry to preach, so if, if I fall flat on my face. But I know what he said he wanted to break. I get that. Terry don't work me to death every time we come here on a Wednesday, and I appreciate that, brother. I want you to apply some of this to your life. I know everything ain't peaches and cream and everything. Uh, maybe that you want it. I didn't drive a Chevelle here today, and I'm, you know, I'd have been happier than that than a rusted out Yukon. <laughs> Amen. But I ain't got, at least it ain't a minivan. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Someone, some man ought to say Amen. Anyhow, he, it says, he walks among us, all that he does. Think of that now. I like the old song, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me that I am his own. I, uh, he walks with, with us. All that he does, it's in him you live and move and have your being. The only reason you're here sucking air is because of him. You ought to be happy about that. All of his mercy and all of his love 
If the pen of the writer could write every day, even this world could never contain Amen. just how I've been blessed. Amen. Think about how good you've got. Amen. Amen. The warmth in the winter. Thank God for, uh, amen. You ever been cold and got to just scoot right up to a good old wood stove, which might be a thing to pass to some people. Amen. But if your heat pump quits working, amen, you'll, just the little things, little things we don't think about anymore. Yes, uh, flowers in spring, laughter of summer and changing of leaves. Food on my table. Is anybody happy about food on your table? <laughs> Amen. A bunch of Baptists ought to be happy about food on your table. Amen. Cows and pigs, all that good stuff. Ought to be revival breaking out on that. Amen. A good place to sleep. There ain't nothing like your bed, is it? Clothes on your back and shoes on your feet. Oh, how I've been blessed. Arms that can raise. Amen. Think of that. A voice that can talk. Hands that can touch and legs that can walk. Ears that can listen. And eyes that can see. Oh, I've got to praise him as long as I breathe. Why? Because I've been blessed. Amen. If I got what I deserved and you got what you deserved, we'd all be Frying in hell like bacon. Amen. Amen. Here we are. Here we are, I'm telling you. Yeah, you. <clears throat> Father and mother nurtured and raised. My sisters and brothers and memories made. Our pastor to lead us. And let me park right there. And I ain't talked a whole lot to Terry. But it's I, you may have done done it. But you ought to tell him again. October. If any one of you in here ain't come up to your pastor and said, Brother, I appreciate you. Shame on you. Amen. Amen. Pastor, you got stayed here all, as long as he has, preaches the word. Do you know, probably out of every pastor in this county, there's none that supports me better than your pastor when I preach a revival somewhere. Amen. I'm guaranteed he's checked on every one of you after this storm. Pa our pastor to lead us. Ah, he just, that's what his job is. <laughs> it may be, amen. But there's a lot of hirelings behind the pulpit that couldn't care less about you. You got one that cares about you, you ought to love him. Amen. <sighs> Throw that in for absolutely free. This, this altar to pray. Boy, brother, what a wonderful place to come. You say, I can pray in the barn. I like praying in the barn. I like the woods when I'm hunting. But it ain't nothing like an old-fashioned altar. You ought to teach your kids that too. You say, oh, they come and prayed last week. Let them come again and again. You say, well, that's funny. They got, they got baptized the last time we had a lot baptizing. You better shut your mouth and just let them. Amen. It'll stick one of these days. Don't hurt their feelings. Amen. This little petty, petty stuff means nothing. Let them get baptized 13 times. Amen. If they need to. Amen. Till they understand, it ain't hurting you or nobody else. Let them come to the altar. Amen. Us as adults ought to show people that there's nothing wrong with coming to an altar and getting help. Near, none of us is as tough as we act like we are. We're all a basket case without Jesus. Amen. Amen. You're not that tough. You're not that strong. Amen. Every hope that I have here in this whole sinful world is anchored in the blood. The blood of the Lamb. Amen. You'll make it to heaven. You'll go through the blood. Amen. That's it. Amen. There's nothing wrong with coming to an altar. <coughs> Stripes that can heal and a blood that can save. Is anybody here glad to be saved? Amen. Amen. Is, uh, I, I, I'm glad. I'm, I'm thankful for people, Brother Terry, that still ain't afraid to show their neighbor whose side they're on. Amen. I seen that bunch. I watched that Tennessee game, and they didn't get to let out like I thought they should have, but that bunch, they'll, they'll cheer them on. Amen. Tennessee can fall flat on their face to Arkansas or anybody else, but you're still, that's your team. Amen. God don't give you exactly what you want half the time, and you're mad as a devil. I, but I seen the enthusiasm of them people 
I said, I would to God I could go to church tomorrow and them people was up with their pom-poms waving it. Look like I, I, I mean, just, I just have to watch for them running behind me and everything else. Wouldn't that be good? <laughs> we live in a country. Gosh, this ought to stir you. We live in a country of the greatest on earth. Our flag stands for freedom and what it is worth. She stands in the harbor, Miss Liberty calls. All have gave some, but some gave it all for me to be blessed. Jesus gave it all for me to be saved. Today's a lot of people that's bled and died for this country, so me and you can be sitting here. Amen. I tell you, people have burning the flags ought to have, you talking about that? Amen. They ought to have the hair beat off of them. We, they ought to be a standard that if you try to burn the flag in, in the United States of America, that you're just going to take a whooping. Amen. At minimum. I'm about done. I'll read a little bit and we'll get out of here. Don't die on me. Amen. The sh a shoulder to lean on. Ain't you glad you got someone to lean on when you're down? A rock where he leads me when I'm overwhelmed. I like that. Amen. If a place where he hides me under his wings. And he's not just a song. He's the reason I sing. Oh, I have been blessed. Amen. We're blessed this morning, ain't we? Amen. I'll read just a little bit. Now, I, I don't have, I, I was going to preach something else, but the Lord put this on my heart uh, pretty strong. And if I, I, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just, if, if, if all I do, brother, is read it. Like you said this morning, that's good enough. Yeah. Amen. There's enough singing, enough blessing. A lot of churches, uh, and, and I don't, I'm not saying all that to, to make you feel bad. I'm saying that, that you ought to be proud of it. You ought to protect what you got. You ought to be like Nate Boss Vineyard. It ain't for sale. These kids ain't for sale. Right. Amen. Yeah. Old time worship ain't for sale. Hey Amen. You as good. I was, I was just wanted to brag on as a church. You was good, good to me. And back in. We're going to Ebenezer's, ain't we? Yeah, that's sad. I mean, not even taking care of young, but going to others. What a blessing that is. But I'm not. I'm not for sale. I'm not selling out. But these. They, they spend some hard times, and they some people that's hurting. And, and I don't want you to feel like uh, there's they's been some bad mistakes made over our lifetimes, ain't they? I mean, have, have you not made a mistake? I have. I've made plenty. Amen. Anyhow, Revelation chapter 3. I want to read just Revelation chapter 3, a little bit of it, and I'll get out of your way. I'm glad, I'm glad, Brother Terry, he said to cast all your cares Absolutely. upon him, for he cares for us. He loves you. He don't want you hurt. He don't want you depressed. He don't want you sad. Amen. He don't want, you say, I'm bitter, preacher, from all the stuff that's went on. He loves you. Don't let that junk control you. If you can, come pray about it anyhow. Um, the Bible says, it says, uh, and under the angel of the church of in Sardis write, These things saith he uh, that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works. Listen to me now. I know thy works that thou, thou hast a name that thou livest and art dead. There's a lot of people that's got a counterfeit. Amen. A lot of people wonder why things... Uh, maybe the way they are, but a lot, there's a lot of false, <clears throat> a lot of false prof professions, no doubt. And it's kind of the same ones you was talking about this morning, brother. There's no way, there is no way that you, uh, you're saved and never, never want to go to church, never want to help nobody. Amen. I wonder about people that that thump the same pew every Sunday, and if someone else gets in it, they're mad. Amen. I wonder about stuff like that. But it says that thou livest and art dead. Dead in sin. We've got a whole country full of people that's dead to sin. Just like me and you was until we found this man named Jesus. 
Uh, verse 2 says, be watchful. And listen to me. I thought about this after this storm. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain. I, I thought about all the, uh, the, the damage that's been done. I thought about the storms in our lifetimes, the things that come through. Each, each person's either going in a storm, coming in a storm, right, or going out, coming in, or you're in the middle of one. <coughs> I thought about <clears throat> some of the things that was done. He can't save. What I'm saying is, amen, there's storms that come in our life. Well, nobody, nobody expect. I've never seen a storm anything like what come through here. I've never, and I've talked to people that's way older than I am, and said they said they never have, Brother Terry. These storms that's come up in our lifetime that we never thought would be possible. Never thought it would take our feet out from under us like it did. sees way down further down the road and I'd be a bald faced liar if I said I understood everything and there's a whole thing a whole lot of things don't make sense amen I don't understand it but I know where my strength lies I know my redeemer liveth amen I know the only thing the only hope I've got is this man named Jesus I'm telling you I, I like that old song on Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. I don't know what you've been through. Hey Amen. I don't know what you're going to have to go through. But I don't know how the way. I don't know how rough the waves. Hey Amen. I'll get. But I know who's driving the ship. Hey Amen. People going through a lot of things. You know these people, Brother Terry will come to the altar and turn loose of some things, but they won't give God everything. And therefore they end up and they end up going back out the double doors. They might feel better for a little bit, but there's always that room. Up the, maybe the hard stuff. 
I preached on the radio, or talked on the radio this morning about about some things uh, probably that most preachers wouldn't. Uh, there's a reason. Uh, there's a reason that these people, and I, and I know it's a horrible thing, Brother Terry. That He says he was clothed and in his right mind. Wouldn't you like to have been a fly on the wall in the back when he busted the door open and said, Come on, man, where are you? Yeah, amen. It was different then, wasn't it? Yeah. The old no paddock, the old crazy man that loved to scream and cut himself in the tombs. All of a sudden, he's clothed and in his right mind. Why? Because just because of Jesus. Yeah. No other reason. Yeah. Not because he joined the Baptist. Not because he's a Methodist, not because he wears a suit, not because he's all trim and everything else, not because he's the mayor of a county, not because he lives in a big brick home, all because of Jesus. Amen. You say it can't happen, it can. I've seen it happen before. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain. Listen to me, that are ready to die. They might be close, but here you are here this morning. Amen. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about losing your salvation. I'm talking about there's some things about to die out. Yeah, some of you used to be in the choir. Some of you used to do little things that's about to die out. You're to, amen, to strengthen the things that remain, brother. You say, well, we're here on a Sunday morning. Well, congratulations, amen. That's good. I, I'm glad you are. Yeah, yeah. But for what God's done for us, do you know everybody in here? And I'm I'm not being I'm not being hard, and I want to be sensitive to this. That, that someone may someone may have great grandchildren. But everybody in here could have had your house burned down and seen the ruin. Uh, amen. Every one of us. Amen. 
The things that, that are ready to die. For I, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore hast thou, thou, remember how thou hast received and heard and hold fast. You better, you better remember how, you, how Brother Terry's preached for the last 20 years here, however long it's been, how you received, amen, how God transformed your life, took out the heart of sin, put, up, put in a heart of love, and you heard, and you, you better hold fast, amen. You better, you better thank God for them things. And it, it, if we better strengthen the things that remain, amen. And if you have made a mistake, don't worry about it, just repent, amen. It says, "If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come to thee, and I will, I will, I shall." It says, "And thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee." But verse two, it says, in the "Middle of it says, for I have not found that thou works perfect before God. We all sin and come short of the glory of God, but we need to strive. God knows what your best is." Strengthen, I, 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 that might not be much, but that's been on my heart for like two or three days, Brother Terry. Strengthen what remains. You say, I ain't got much left. Little as much when God is in it. But you better put God in it. Amen. Because you can't do it on your own. I can't, I never have, I'll just be honest with you. Amen. I, I never have been real good at one, sir, anything. Amen. I, they, when, Someone brings something up and like, oh yeah, he was good at it. I'm not that person. Amen. I, I try to be. You don't have to be a, a superstar for God to use you. Amen. God wants you. You might be the most uncoordinated thing that's ever been. You might, you might not. Nobody else wants you to do this or do that, but God wants you and He loves you. Amen. He don't want you to stay in the position, the position of sadness or depression or whatever you're in. I don't know what happened to you. I, 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 this is just what the Lord put on my heart. I'm, I'm sorry. I hate it that people say it, brother. Hey, I, I, I hate it. And it happens to people. They get further down than they want to go. And like you said, brother, if you miss a few services, my goodness, the devil, it just gets you stomping harder and harder and harder. Yeah. <coughs> Strengthen what remains. I'm not throwing rocks. I'm just saying, let's get stronger. You can, Brother Perry, you know, you can have a good, a good ball team and you start strengthening what you got. If you start working, if you if you work a little bit harder, pitch, work a little bit, put a little bit extra more time in. It hits. If you'll go the extra mile for Jesus, if you'll pray a little longer, go to church a little bit more than you have been doing. Amen. Amen. You ain't doing God a favor for being here. Amen. He's doing you a favor by letting you still suck air, especially if you ain't saved and ready to go. You're a lucky person. You're exactly where you need to be. But I, I'm going to say this and I'm done. There's still a heaven gate and a hell to shut. There's a, there's, there's a heaven and there's a hell. Amen. And you'll go one or two places. There's no exception for you. No. For a long time, you know, every generation comes and goes, does I thought, well, my, I, I guess I was deceived. I thought, well, my generation's a, or, you know, I don't even have to explain But I, I'm old enough to realize that I'm insignificant just like everybody else who come before me. You just lucky that God loves you. Amen. Yeah. Short time here and a long time gone. It won't be long. Amen. You need to listen to me. Amen. I'm telling you. 
Don't let the devil win. If the devil's fighting you, if you're sad, if you're wore out from the journey, if you've got a decision and you don't know well, how to, what to do, why don't you call on the one that never fails? Call on this man named Jesus. Amen.
right here. We don't ever like to close without ever giving everybody that opportunity. I hope today that you've done the business with God that you need to. Anybody else want to come? It's open for anyone for any reason. If you leave today without doing what God told you to do, it's your fault, not His. I said this morning when we opened up that God didn't chase after the rich man, but He did show up where He was. He did show up exactly where He was going to be. He showed up here today. He left the 99 to find that one. He came this way today just for us. What a God we serve. What a God. Amen. We appreciate you this morning. We appreciate her, appreciate Brother Josh and his family for being with us. Amen. Thank God for me. Amen. Maybe somebody got a word or a testimony on your heart, something you'd like to say or do today? Amen. Amen. Anybody else today? Hearts and minds clear, then uh, we're going to do something this, this, this morning as well. Uh, I'm going to ask a couple of our men, a couple of our ushers, or a couple of ushers come up. It don't matter for men or not, or some of our kids. I want to take up a special love offering this morning. Uh, I know that we've got a lot of people that's been out and a lot of people that's been working and doing things, and uh, we want to take up another offering for our, for our linemen. Now, I know there's a lot of first responders and a lot of people that are out working, but our, our linemen are out in areas and places where they cannot go and grab food and they cannot go and grab things. And I found out this week, I know we've already helped them once and we've already, or, or my company's helped them once, but I found out this week that they were just about out of supplies and snacks and things that we bought last time and others have bought and they quit for, you know, sending stuff in. So uh, we just want to take up another love offering and be able to give them some stuff that they can put on their trucks as they go out and work in these remote places. Uh, Jason said they was uh, talking to him. He said that they go to places now. They're down to places where they'll work all day just to get one person on, cutting and, 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 and working and, and building lines and stuff to get people back on. They're out in remote places, things that we don't think about that they go through. And this way, it'll give things for them to put on their truck and be able to have snacks and something to drink while they're out there. So we're going to take up a love offer at this time. At this time, I'm going to Brother Eddie to ask a blessing on it. Yes, Lord. Everything you give this morning goes 100% to be able to provide some things for them. We do appreciate you. We thank God for you. And listen, none of us like to be without power, right? Amen. Uh, so you dig deep. I do ask you to come back out tonight, be at their services tonight. Brother Joshie's family will be back. And I know that they'll bless your heart. Remember, tell somebody about the Lord. Shake somebody's hand.